This is Shane Harper from Good Luck Charlie and God's Not Dead, and you're watching Dispatch Radio. All right, folks, we have a great guest. It's a great movie that comes out today. We've been talking about it for quite a while. It's called God's Not Dead, and we have one of the co-stars, Kevin Sorbo. How are you, sir? I'm doing pretty well, thank you. I'm actually here in Nashville, Tennessee, shooting another movie right now, but we got a later afternoon call, so I'm glad we could do this. That's great. I'm glad we could get fit in, and I want to get right to the film because, you know, we all have um, – you know, atheist friends, friends of different faiths, and that kind of thing. I know that's the, the kind of the, the nucleus of this story. What is it in the film that you think it's covered? One of the, some of the topics that are brought up that you think can be really be beneficial for folks to talk about their faith? You know, what I like about this movie is it brings in both sides. I actually play an atheist college professor. I'm not an atheist, but it was as an actor, it's kind of fun to play because I have atheist friends. We've had wonderful debates and discussions through the years. So, um, you know, it, it, you get that point of view, and then you get the opposing point of view. Obviously, the son was a Christian, and uh, he wants to debate me in my own classroom. I play a college professor, and uh, I get a student that stands up to my, to my rantings about the non-existence of God. And it's an interesting uh, anchor for the movie, because it, it's the main story of the movie that sort of is surrounded by a number of other stories, and they sort of culminate into the movie together. I think that obviously, you know, the whole God's dead, not dead movement, and then of course that it's still so rampant in many college campuses that Christians kind of face this challenge pretty regularly. Did, did you personally experience things like that, where you kind of were in a an awkward situation with uh, maybe a person of power, like a student-teacher relationship, that had a, a, a difference of faith? You know, I did not, fortunately. I mean, it's I know people who did. I know my, my niece and nephew most recently have both experienced it in their college uh, undertaking. And it's, it's interesting. You know, I just remember all my college professors pretty much just taught. They taught the subject that they were supposed to teach, which was great. And I think most college professors need to you know, aspire to doing that today I, and, and leave their political points of view and their, their religious points of view out, out of the way. I mean, if, if that class is about that, then maybe that's something you can discuss. But if you're there to teach a math class, then, you know, just be quiet. Teach math. I mean, what, what really needs to open up is, is students, high school, junior, seniors, college, whatever it may be, they need to talk to their parents and bring up these things that happen because what's great about this movie and all the people that see this movie, if anybody out there wants to complain, oh, that would never happen, it happens. At the end of the movie, they show 37 court cases between universities and students that have happened or are underway right now. And uh, it's for real. It goes on out there. And we, we need to get more vocal about it. I think, I think people of faith have been far too quiet and far too tolerant in the, in, the, uh, in the Christian world. And we let other religions, you know, spout and get angry and mean, and the, the, the you know, mainstream media will protect them. Meanwhile, we get churches being blown up all around this world, and our, our media doesn't even talk about it. I agree. And that's, you know, you folks that you are listening, those of you that are following this online, you know that we cover that here on the Global Dispatch. We really dive into this. And we just kind of had a great forum. We had a great uh, conversation with an author who wrote a book on Noah. And, you know, the Noah movie comes out next week. And obviously, you know, we took the stance of, you know, you shouldn't boycott this movie. You need to kind of educate yourself a little bit about what's on it and use it as uh, talking points, right? So you use it as opportunities to talk about your faith. Kevin, what are some of the things that, you know, uh, from a movie like that or other movies that you use and can say, listen, I like this movie or I don't like that movie, but here's why, and here's some of the things that you do to help drive people to Scripture. Well, you know what? I, I, I have heard people saying they're going to boycott it. I heard something about the Pope saying he's not going to see the movie, uh, Noah. Um, you know, I'm, I'm going to see it out of curiosity. What, what I found fascinating is that Hollywood hired an atheist director to do this. And he, he basically, he said, he said, F the Christians. And I thought, wow, <laughs> that's pretty amazing. And he wanted to make the movie more about global warming. And I know Christians are upset on the one side of the issue because they don't feel like they follow the, uh, the Bible enough. And you got the atheist non-believers screaming about it, making fun of me. The guy's like Bill Maher coming out with his typical rant. That's just surprising. But he's a guy, a very unhappy guy. But, um, you know, it's, why not go see it? Go see it. Check it out. It's like God's Not Dead. I want people to go, because this is a movie that's going to create conversation. It's a movie that looks at both sides of the issue. And that, what, what, what's great about it is that atheists always use the science. Science They think they have science on their side. Well, in this movie, we use science from the Christian side to prove the existence of God. So it's very fascinating to me that you, you get a movie that can do something like this. And I, I think for people to go see this movie, they will learn a lot, and they it will create discussion. I want the choir to go. You know, I, like I said, I don't like to preach to the choir in faith-based movies because they already believe. 
but I want them to go. But I want them to take friends that are sort of fence sitters. I want people that are those agnostics of the world. Just going to go, you know what? This opens up a little discussion. Let's talk about it. Let's see what your what your thoughts are after the movie. Yeah, it definitely sounds like it deals with a lot of topics. Uh, we screened it in the morning, actually. But when I talked to Shane, I talked I interview with Shane Harper, and he's talking about you know twenty five pages of scripts that deal with apologetics. So it really gets kind of dirty and really gets in there and and really can turn up a lot of questions, a lot of opportunities for you to have conversations with your friends or family that may not be uh, a Christian. So, Kevin, what was it like to work? I mean, uh, Shane obviously works, uh, you know, did a lot of TV and things like that. What was it like to work with Shane on set? You know, he came in very prepared, very professional. You know, it's uh, I've been very fortunate with my career. You know, if I look at my, my seven years in Hercules 5 and Andromeda, I've shot about 50 movies since that. And uh, to come on a set and see this young punk come up there and go head to head with some <laughs> I thought he did great. It was easy to work off. He came in professional. He came in prepared. He was ready to go. He was ready to play. Very outgoing. Very outspoken in a positive way. And, uh, you know, it was nothing but a pleasure to work with the guy. Fantastic. Fantastic. I think that uh, you talked about Hercules. You talked about Andromeda. I assume you still have people just stopping you constantly from the massive fan base that you have from both of those shows, right? Well, you know, it's, it's funny. I mean, I, I always get a nod to Hercules. It was a wonderful chapter in my life. Seven years in New Zealand. The show went on to become the most watched TV show in the world. To be part of something that was amazing. What's even more amazing is now is Afterlife. I mean, here it is. We started shooting the show 21 years ago, and I finished shooting it, you know, 14 years ago in the year 2000. And it's still, because of Netflix, it's all these kids, 18 and younger, that were too young or not even born yet, are watching it. So to them, it's brand new. And so I go to these Comic-Con shows, and just the people and fans that show up are so nice and they're so cool. And I love that show. I mean, the great, great thing about that show, they had a lot of moral values. They had a lot of, you know, the fight scenes were never violent. It was always just, we had some, some heavy drama shows, certainly. But for the most part, Hercules was all about just having a good time. Even the fight scenes were done in a very humorous way and not offensive way. And, uh, you know, I think that it still holds up because it's, it's a time period. So it doesn't look that dated except, some, well, some of the visual effects maybe. But beyond that, it still looks pretty good. You know, it's funny that you bring that up to the Comic-Con thing. Cause I remember we met you at a, a comic show. I met you with my daughter. And first off, it was intimidating because, you're, you know, you're, you're six foot four. You're this big, this big cat, man. And she's like, whoa. And I'm like, yo, it's Hercules. What do you expect? So we, start, <laughs> well, we end up start talking about all your Christian movies. All, you see all, these, all the fanboys are around us. And we're like, we're talking about What If and all these other movies that you do. And now we got God's Not Dead, too. So, hey, man, I, I'm all about the feathers in your cat, bro. I, I love these movies. Well, I hope people go see more of me. You know, and that's why I want people to go to this movie and support it. It opens right now. It's, it's, it's this weekend and uh, it opens today. And, you know, people want more of this. I get this when I do these. You know, I try, I try to do about five or six autograph shows a year. It's great to see people's response and things they have to say. And they say, we want more family movies. Well, if you want more family movies, you want movies that you can take your kids to, then support movies like this. Because trust me, Hollywood's all about show business, right? They want to make money. So if they see more and more of these movies making money, they may do it begrudgingly, but they will make them, trust me. And the independent world, like Fearflick, is going to keep pumping these things out as well. And I've, I've got a couple more that I'm talking about right now. And, um, it's, you know, I'm shooting, I'm actually shooting a family movie right here in Nashville. I'm shooting a movie called The Secret Handshake, which will be out in theaters hopefully by the fall. Um, it's a wonderful family movie. It's a comedy. Uh, it's not faith-based, but it's, it's family-friendly completely. It's written by Howie Klausner, who wrote the movie... Uh, he wrote a number of movies, but his most famous is probably Space Cowboys, the one he did with Clint Eastwood and James Garner and Tommy Lee Jones. So people, please come on out to all these movies. Talk about, because uh, you have another one, too, that's kind of in post-production. You have a Kickstarter program going on right now to finish up that sci-fi apocalyptic film that you also did. So tell people a little bit about what that is and how to get to that Kickstarter program to help finish that project up. Well, they, they kind of pulled back on that right now. They, they're doing some more things with the script and, and, and location scouting. So they wanted to kind of pull back, but I'll be back. Oh, all right. Okay. Yeah, but I appreciate you bringing it up. But it's, it's, uh, we do, I do have a number of other ones. I mean, people go to kevinsorbo.net. Um, they can check out uh, the official Facebook page of Kevin Sorbo. Trust me, that's me posting. People always ask. There's a lot of people tend to be me on other Facebook pages. But uh, I post quite often on that, and I know I... I post things that get people riled up. That's part of the fun of doing it. <laughs> so, well, you know, and that, and, that, and, that, and that is so much who Kevin Sorbo is, too. When you read the Facebook page, you're going to see who Kevin Sorbo is. And you know what? It's, it, it's great to hear you. So you brought up Bill Maher, for instance. I just love to have the vocal Christian, you know, the, someone that's going to stand up for some values and say, listen, you know what? we got to punch back a little bit. We don't have to be mean. We don't have to be, you know, ugly. we got to stand up for what we believe. We're not supposed to be rolling over, right? 
We are rolling over. I, I mean, I think I think people are getting, you know, they're getting to the point now where enough is enough. Yeah. And I, I yeah. think uh, more and more people need to stand up and say, okay, guys, I'm not. This is just not fair. And you know, let's let's listen to both sides of the issue. I don't mind people having a point of view. I get crazy when I can't have my point of view, and that's what Hollywood does. They're tolerant, but they're tolerant only for people who agree with them. Yeah, it's absolutely out of control, and, and sadly, it's just you know trying to to lock arm in arm and be a voice and stand up for what we believe in, folks. And that 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 begins today. Uh, God's not dead opens today, and there's there's hefty competition out there, folks. You got to get out and support this movie. Divergent opened today. Muppets opened today. So if you don't get out and support this movie, we got to get it into the top ten so that it gets into that press cycle. And I've talked about this on the show before. I've talked about it on the website before, and you guys know what a machinery the news cycle is and how they work. And, and Kevin, you you could speak to this from your experience, all the movies. You know how that these guys wake up Monday morning and they want to see numbers. They want to know numbers, right? Yep, they want to see numbers. And I'll tell you what, we, we're we opening up 880 theaters across the country. And as I said before, they can go to godsnotdead.com. I'll show where it's showing in their neighborhood and show some trailers and some interviews. It's a pretty great, wonderful uh, website. And if people show up, I'm telling you, Monday, if there's good, decent numbers, we got another 400 screens waiting to jump on board, but they're waiting to see what the numbers look like as well. Fantastic. Kevin, thank you again for fitting us into your busy schedule, and uh, God bless you in these projects that you're working on. Take care, brother. All right. Thanks. I appreciate the call. All right. Thank you.